go and then you can go and then you can go. Can we take that turn? Because he asked first. I'm sorry. Honey, boli. Aap pehle boli. Now, mera ek clarification hai because. Ah, oh, wo bhi. Mr. Kosar, what he raised the issue of frequency control. Now, as a BHL representative, I want to clarify that all our most latest machines, not only latest, all Siemens design machines. That features are already available. Right. It is only the polisher, power polisher, they have to utilize it. Right. Power polisher, they had it. They are basically operating the machine at valve wide opening conditions. They are not controlling anything. Whatever load they can get, they are operating in that fashion. But features are available to control frequency. Now, basically, my second question was for our NTPC uh, panelists. Because what we have seen, especially in supercritical technology, that uh, bulk tenders, what we feel, they have put BHL into a disadvantage. Exactly, I was saying that. Price discovery because and give some orders. Because first that thing, was my point. They give a first to, they have chance to them. Uh, just a minute, sir. Because first thing, we do not understand that BHL, who is having a 50 years of manufacturing experience of power plant equipment, they have started equating BHL with the all newcomers, new joint venture operators in this country. That is not fair. Second thing, they have put certain conditions, especially that JDU, joint deed of undertaking. This particular clause, it has forced BHL to go for maximum import content. Mm -hmm. And that is eating out all our margins. To be very frank, by going for this super critical technology, especially for these bulk orders, we are not going to make any profit. What Mr. Dubey was telling that BHL has also learned huh, how to quote. Basically, we have to survive in this country. That's why we are quoting so low. But the clauses what they have put through that JDU, huh, that will affect BHL very adversely. So that is my point. I think this gathering, I, actually my point was mainly for NTPC panelists. And apart from that, in most of the as a uh, commissioning engineer, I have all along worked as a commissioning engineer in the field. My feeling is, what sorts of, uh, all sorts of specification what NTPC engineering is making, their basic aim is to stop BHL. Their basic aim is to stop BHL so that BHL cannot quote. And even if they quote, they will see to it that they are penalized. But, sir, you know, isn't it a little unfair on NTPC when you say that because, see, they have always bought your machines and they were the first ones to have all your machines and now if this issue comes up, because, see, I'm, I'm putting a point in a different way. Bichil needs to compete. You cannot say that Toshiba is a new person. See, this will be damaging your own personal interest, which I have told BHL chairman many times, you know, BP Rao. Because, see, you may need to compete with world-class technologies. It's not that BHL is incapable. BH is already making the stuff here. And you have, in fact, if I use some words, you already worked with some of those no, no, guys no. like Alstom. How can you now uh, oppose them when they come into India and put investments? No, no, because no more jobs are being created. No, no, some of your engineers are going and working in these places. My point is, we are not going for... Uh, we are that not that avoiding will come to no, protectionism no, for no, you. No, we are not avoiding any competition. Yeah. But there are certain clauses that JDU... Joint yeah, okay. So you can represent JD yes. issue, but then making really? a sweeping comment that NTPC people are sitting to make specifications against you may not be true because I am really? sitting on both I, the sides. I, I will not agree with that. I, I am not questioning that. Uh, I yeah. would be like to support NTPC because the NTPC is trying to build a specification where you cannot escape. They are trying to prevent the Chinese from coming in. I am knowing that very clearly. So BHL position, this will be a very flawed position when you take it. And I would like to contra counter this because I have said this openly. BHL ex chairman, your ex chair Ravi Kumar is on my board, and I've said if BHL does not face competition, it will wipe out itself. So you listen to constructive critics like us that we are supporting you. We are the ones who supported you. We are the ones who fought. It is not you who fought. 2008, I wrote the first article after Haridwar that Chinese equipment do not have the capability to meet BHL standards, and that resulted in a 2011 story in Forbes, which I planted, not BHL. So please remember this, only, only you know, only so we have supported, but at the same time, please be open to competition, don't be a loner and don't be a monopolist. No, no. We, we don't want Microsoft in India. Mr. Professor Ayer, 
BHL is in competition right from 1990. So therefore, why are you are afraid? No, no, we are not afraid. We are afraid of certain things by which, no, no, we are afraid of certain certain clauses by which our collaborators they are taking advantage of us. No, but that is what. See, no, I will our, tell you. Our own collaborator. I, I will tell you, our sir. Our own collaborator they are taking advantage of us. For example, I am telling you, there are certain things which we can manufacture at India. No, but, everything but, you are manufacturing. I am telling you, blades you are manufacturing. You are one of the few blade manufacturers in the world. You have a state-of-the-art facility. Please listen. Please listen to me. But they are your boiler factory in Trichy is world class. No, no. The now point is due to that JDU. That due to that JDU company. Kindly represent. We are, we are forced. Kindly represent. I will publish an article. It is already over. So kindly. I will. Look into I will publish an article. Come kindly, forward. Kindly look into that. No, not look. You must put your money where your mouth is. Please produce an article. I will publish it. No questions asked. Okay, thanks. I will not edit a word. Only I will make it more better as a journalist. That's all. Okay, thank you. I am supporting you, but let us not complain. Let's not say the NTPC people are sitting there to make a tender against us. I think that they will never do. See, their their job would be. See, I tell you the larger perspective of the story. We need to get. We need to fight if joint sector or any sector manufacturing and investment happens in India. Then the leg of the manufacturer is in India. He is going to the loss of India and taxation of India. Then there is no unfair competition with you. That is the first thing you must address. And here, I'll say, if this happens, I cannot even stop a Chinese who makes a factory here. So be careful about that issue because we can fight them only till they are importing and forcing the and dumping the equipment from their side here without any control. But the moment they come here and manufacture, that situation will be over, and nobody will be able to raise the bogey. I will also have to take a back seat and say they have invested here, and now you live with them. Because if they escape, you can shut the factory, you can put a penalty, you can bring them to court, haul them. That's what the Chinese will face when they come to India, because they cannot face law lawlessness like they go there and they say we can't supply this part. So that situation must come. Let us go logically. Let us compete. PHL is a leader. BHL must say कि भई हमें कोई डर ही नहीं है यार हम तो अभी भी 3.9 crores पर मेगा टीट सेड यू आर विनिंग सो why you are worried your prices are still low and let the renmin be strengthen you and strengthen they will be costlier than you shortly नहीं I understand I I understand those prices are not sustainable I agree with you I agree with you so this we will represent come up with the fact what is sustainable Come up with what is the realistic what, price? What, what you are telling, na? Some negotiated price. I am talking of. Uh, I am talking of a new formula. Price. Yes. And then, if BHL, let's take capacity. I am giving the formula here. I'll come up. You help me out. I am. My formula is okay. Sab ki itni capacity India mein. Let's say 60 gigawatt aa jati hai. And we make a plan here. 60 gigawatt should be consumed, right? And then the percentage share based on their manufacturing. Yes. Simple. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. do you want to tender and waste your time? Have a price discovery formula. This is the price. Do do saal mein review kariye usko. You will get so many plants in India in no time. Why the government is wasting its time on so piles of paper, putting all those evaluation? You know, one company, whether it's you or anybody, makes one offer. The offer will cost half a million dollar. Who will pay for the offer price? People spend time in engineering, project management to produce an offer without a result. It's not easy, me, right, sir? Right, right, right. I am from NTPC, and I have been great. I am happy uh, here. Associated with the recent two, three projects which have. I am happy up. you are here. Yeah. I was not sure whether any NTPC because nobody was defending. So yeah, I had I to do that. I, <laughs> I am here to answer his question. Uh, so far as the DJU issue has been raised, uh, I am here to quote that DJU. Has been revised for the case of BHL only. Right, great. I mean, North Carolina. Please give them a big hand for this. It has been revised. I don't know whether you are aware of it or not, but uh, they have issues with Siemens. I won't like to go into yeah, depth yeah, of okay. that. But you have uh, problems with your uh, collaborator and all. I won't like to delve into those things. But we have suitably revised the DJU only for BHL. So that One you must be happy. One Now the answer is there. And for that, our other vendors or other uh, competitors who are in market, they are strongly objecting these things. Obviously, yeah, because we have to provide a level playing field for I all. Yes, so yes, yes. Absolutely right. It is NTPC standard. Yeah, 
NTPC is known for this. Standard is known to everyone, and it is in black and white. And NTPC is considered to be the most ethical buyer in the country and globally also. So I would like to see NTPC like that only. Yeah. And one more <laughs> uh, fact I would like to put for Darli Pali project, a stg package we have been uh, we have uh, just uh, opened the price bid. Herein Toshiba has quoted the figure of 1100 crores, mm -hmm. and BHL's figure. We must be knowing is around 1700 crores. Okay. How can I? It is not possible. Nobody can justify. Absolutely this. not. If there is a gap of uh, this huge gap staying there, uh, nobody can. I may be allowed to, but right, right, surely, surely, surely. Yeah, these are the two two things because I want everyone to be in close. I mean, the figure should be closed uh, enough so that I can make some. Arrangement for BHL to come forward. No, see, supporting them for their manufacturing capacity is a national issue. Yeah. I am also with it. In no, fact, I as a publisher will go one step forward, say, it is an institution you have created, so don't kill it. But at the same breath, I would say, kindly compete, kindly go forward and be competitive, the way yeah. you are giving the message to them. Having said all this, I would reiterate that uh, working with BHL is our preference. Absolutely right. Yeah. We always want... I, I would say even Jindal's preference. Be, there. I would say, why, why yours? I see Jindal, they have not bought any machine from anybody. It is unbelievable. Jindal and Steel and Power, all the machines are BHL. Because and you have a very comfortable relationship. And not only that, if you see the entire project signal of Jindal, right. that is the only IKP hmm. which has made all records. Agreed. And today, we are making all records on all activities. So, so that way, there is a good... BHL, but still today, they are making what in any activity you take. Right. Exactly. So let, let us not, let us also accept that private sector has favored BHL also. Let us not say that that has not happened. And moreover, uh, BHL also feels very comfortable working with NTPC. Obviously. It because they don't have such a long them. relationship. Yeah. Obviously. This is there. And more thing is, uh, moreover, uh, NTPC people take over all the things and BHL people sit comfortably while erection and commission activities <laughs> are going on. <laughs> right. It'll be on the lighter part. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, what we should do, the two, three gentlemen have been raising hands. We give them the chance and Rebut will be last. So, let's go with the gentleman over there first. Sir, kindly introduce yourself also. Give the other one. Uh, my name is VK Midda. Right. Ex BHL. Right. So, uh, s seeing the ping pong between the two sides, may I make uh, just a comment uh, to Mr. Mehti? If BHL cannot sustain the price levels, nobody in the world will be able to in India at least. Absolutely. So, don't worry too much. Some aberration in the market may occur because some people want to enter the market. They right. will price it in a way. But on a long way, I am convinced after 30 eight years of working with BHL that if BHL cannot sustain, nobody can sustain. It will come right, to a right. rational level. My question was actually to Mr. Dubey who has left. Okay. This is regarding, but I will still uh, throw the suggestion in the house. This is regarding solar thermal. Now, solar thermal cost element Mr. Jain was also saying and uh, to some extent I was involved during the uh, last phase of my uh, career. So, the solution which we had proposed was, supposing we do a hybrid, that means with the existing thermal unit, you add the solar thermal. So it cuts, cuts the cost by about 30 to 35 percent easily. Secondly, it changes the, uh, uh, covers you against the variability. Because on the uh, variability is there on the solar PV side also, but on the solar thermal the variability is much more. So once you put the steam inside the header, then everything rest takes care. So I wanted to ask from Mr. Dubey what is happening because before I retired, I pushed two projects. One was in Gujarat, which is being uh, done in uh, connection in uh, this thing with the gas turbine. And the other one was, which was proposed uh, was to uh, Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted his views on whether... No, we, I have an association called Renewable Energy Association. If I get a representation even as an individual from you, it will be very easy for me to put it across with MNRE straight away what your idea was. And I am very sure 
that with the joint secretary solar like tarun kapoor until he is there you can be rest assured that things will be heard i i totally agree with you he is not there things I are a little different i wanted to he has yeah. supported me fully on the ultra mega solar power project yeah. which i conceived about 2 years back so it's very possible person i tell you thousand megawatt we are lucky to have some officers like this he was he was one of the officers who was supported me more than the support from within initially right finally of course that project is uh, seeing the light of the day yeah because you see our white paper was talking about 40 gigawatt solar for the national mission so today that signing of 4 gigawatt is 10% of that from 1 to 4 they have jumped single project so they are coming to that they are coming to that project. so uh, till he is there i am saying you can be rest assured because our question and the white paper was that if gujarat does 10 and uh, you know our friends rajasthan do 10 then they have already done 20 gigawatt so what is the national mission doing so the answer is coming now because he so therefore i am saying give them the chance give them the opportunity put it forward in front of them and i i think that huge changes will not happen in the election here so tarun kapoor sir is reasonably going to be there at the ministry of solar um, mnr you know so i think if we have a good man like him who is ready is an open house i think let us give him more data i am a representative body i am doing all the public service even if i get a representation from anybody in the public we are ready to go openly with them short clarification i'd like Thank to ask midda ji is uh, whether his proposition is for a joint csp with gas turbine or is it also along with a coal based plant because of the day and night variability of solar generation and uh, you know thermal plants cannot take the kind of variation So actually, uh, it is for both. The Gujarat project is with gas turbine. The Maharashtra project uh, proposed was with thermal. Thermal, yeah, right. With 210 megawatt. Right, sir. Right. Take it. The next question, sir. Hello. Yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, you know, the first point is why financing in like we were discussing why financing in power sector is on the higher side. No, not only power sector. No, in general, financing is with 15 percent today. Debt financing. No, no. Still average interest rate we are no, on no. the board of other companies working capital is available 15% not less than that no no the financing the interest rates are higher Very basically high. there is um, the one reason behind is the risk factor the risk factors as you you know everyone would uh, recollect that the interest rates in earlier 4 5 years 6 years down the line was 9 to 10% only and what was the roe as you know permitted by crc was 15.5% as on date now it is 14% around interest rate still roe is same so how banks can you know reduce the interest rates when they are not seeing any you know risk mitigation plans and you know any policy uh, you know uh, policy uh, some ease in the policies by the government so i think that is the major component which you know the policy makers have to see and come out with some solution then only it makes sense to you know that banks may reduce no, the interest I, rate i totally disagree with you although i'm happy with your question you know i completely disagree this is not the true situation banks are the chief culprits of this not this country like global banks what they have done for the last 2 3 years they have become lalajis sitting with the public money and they just want to earn interest rbi will give them at some bloody point and they will go and they'll make mints money like sahukars you know they are not taking risk and let me tell you power sector is a non risk area long term investment in power sector i appreciated phenomenally you can take ntpc you can take any of their plants this is not pan ki dukan so those fellows want to go and see the economic times awards and sit with them very very ruthless on them so danda has to be given money will not be provided to these bankers and they will not be allowed if they don't provide a ratio of 40% to infrastructure and nation building failing which the banker cannot be allowed to operate his banking this must be the law which must come because it is nothing to do with profits i have figures with me and i tell you chanda kochar will have to resign as the chairman of her own bank if she talks all that bullshit she has been talking 8000 crores she is saying is non performing assets in power sector and she and other bankers go and give money to mr vijay mallya uh, who has opened a pawn shop so let us stop this nonsense and ca calling names they are going to those functions and getting nice imprint all the media channels are giving them and then the nice awards and nice talk all this hogwash should stop constructive media like us will has been talking and now our talk is hitting them below the belt today we are opening this out i am telling you investments in power sector infrastructure are highly profitable don't talk of the 16% irr business you are getting that 16% when you go over a long period of time your bloody irrs after they depreciate is phenomenal 
you see the dividends in the case of uh, ntpc or bhl you will not calculate anything but when you see the dividends even a coal india limited which does not upgrade any of its coal facilities does not buy modern equipment goes and hands over 4 billion dollar to the government of india 16000 crores this is just a few weeks back and they tom tom we gave dividend of 16000 crores kick them in the butt take 8000 crores back into modernization of coal mines see what happens to this country so i don't buy your argument banks are the chief culprit of the country they are also not giving any housing loan they brought the collapse in the housing sector because 60% of the loan capability of the housing sector went down not only black money you see you go to any and they are rejecting every application on the planet because they want to save and when they do valuation of existing assets i will tell you whether it's a private sector bank or public sector bank anywhere they will try to buy your asset at 50% of the rate at which you have bought you buy a, a property in noida at 2 crores you will be told next day that it is only 50 lakh rupees when you go for mortgage loan if you paid the entire money so they are frauds the second point is pertaining to the price discovery as you were saying why we are not going for price discovery rather than you know fixed cost method you know that uh, bidding for only fixed cost that is very true uh, i also feel that uh, the ministry of power and who so the, the procurers who so ever you know calls for a bid should do a regular homework they have to do some homework and come with a ceiling price you know uh, in See, i'll tell you from where it has come yeah. i formed the first price variation clause committee when i was in ipma as a youngster me and hetal were young people then ipma was not even born this is in the worli office and for copper price variations i set up the formula for the nation the first power purchase agreement for liquid fuel projects was vetted by me that has gone into the ppa that your country is having today lot of modifications have happened but we made it for a 40 megawatt liquid fuel project in the country so the ppa draft is from an indian and i am the man who drafted the first ones which have gone to public sector to everybody and it has happened so i know a little bit more before i came to publishing i know a little bit more and what do you see so we know and we are not bound by anybody we are no in media we are not bound by anybody we are going to call a spade a spade banking sector has to be given a danda in this country they have to take risk if a private sector takes risks if public sector also takes risk even a bhl takes risk when it gives it equipment and does not get paid for it i think bankers have to be asked to take risk otherwise get off chairman of and managers of banks will have to be given a danda a legal danda by rbi that you will not get the next round of capital if i don't see an asset formation in your system don't call it npa we will solve it later on because you are lending to the wrong guys your npa are coming because you are lending to the wrong guys and because you have a everybody is involved it is corruption why you give loan to mr malaya again to take him out just issue arrest warrant on him tomorrow morning just one more question to mr sajde basically on the coal front that uh, you know yes, sir, before that the gentleman over there after the you finish after you finish yeah gentlemen at the last so Adi. on the coal front is that uh, you know that why is that uh, you know that production has not increased because it is said uh, there is an apprehension that underground mining has not been done to that level which was required which has led to this you know that uh, shortfall i didn't mention that at all no no you have not mentioned i'm just putting it up an additional point yeah and you have not said and secondly basically there are many mines kindly reformulate your question yeah what is your question yeah it is the question is that whether uh, only uh, you know the focus was only on uh, uh, you know the normal mining or or due planning was done for underground ten, uh, underground mining also or it was only open cast which was you know that was emphasized in the you know planning stage Uh, a quite Last a myth in the market that coal industry in india is focusing on open cast mining you know what a decides the method of mining a the actually only one thing decides the method of mining rest follows that how deep is the coal deposit if deposit is shallow underground working is not feasible because the roof collapses and there there are extraneous problems so depth is one seam thickness now somebody mentioned singroli singroli we have seen called jingoda seam 134 meter thick 
134 मीटर अगर उसको मल्टीप्लाई करोगे तीन से चार सौ फुट वो सीम को अंडरग्राउंड करोगे अंडरग्राउंड वी कैन डू ओनली फाइव सिक्स मीटर एट ए टाइम एंड इज रेशो इज लेस देन वन इज टू वन यू हैव टू डिग इट आउट नेक्स्ट द इकोनॉमिक्स अल्टीमेटली वॉट एंड यूज इज कोल इज एंड लास्टली विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इंडियन सिनेरियो अवर टू नाइंटी नाइन बिलियन वट रिसोर्स आई मैंशन सिक्सटी परसेंट माइंड सिक्सटी परसेंट लाइज अंडर ए शेलो कवर ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर ओनली करेक्ट हम राइट फॉर ए डेप्थ ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर इफ आई रिलीजियसली फोर्स अंडरग्राउंड माइंडिंग ऑन एवरीबॉडी विल बी क्रिएटिंग झरिया एंड रनिंग एज अगेन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द कोल विल लेफ्ट इन द पिलर्स एंड दे विल कैच फायर एग्जैक्टली नाउ now this is the wrong part of your question which i addressed now right part of the question i address which is very important for all of you to note as particularly the bankers till now right from day 1 all would say 1971 or 1970 mines were nationalized focus had to be on open cast mines for three reasons a you have to open the new areas faster production build up and to meet the requirement of ntpc and all these things are faster at certain b like singaroli every ounce coal can be dug out without much problem no underground is required there is one seam which is 1.4 meters 100 meter below the last seam no use really going for that this is second now third was wherever you have uh, faster development the restoration part that can be better done with open cast than underground because underground you lose coal it catches fire up to 300 meter if you can do 60% 60% of 124 itself is a fortune but we have missed at one point where i'll agree with you you said judicious mix up to a point open cast mining you can continue but this 300 meter you can't scoop out every ounce yeah so it time will come when you will reach a plateau in the production capacity or production capability and thereafter it will start declining so i have to build up underground production below before i have to reserve i have to recover below 6 600 meter 300 meter also i can't lose those coal it's very precious for us so we should have addressed underground mining at the same time why we did not we could not address that not did not we had already taken over about 400 odd mines 90% are underground flooding because the erstwhile owners are not using word private or public but earlier owners astroid owners had done selective mining as we do you get you got these plates you know i took only one biscuit rest is all waste exactly whatever i found suiting me i picked it up how does it it can feed at least two more persons see all the plates now selective mining was in vogue at that time as the selective mining resulted the fires in the mine because broken coal was left inside coal catches fire by itself what we should have done we should have taken them in three parts plant new mines underground on a deeper horizon a look at the reserves which are blocked in the old work mines b and at the sorry <coughs> same time have the areas where only open cast mining is done developed independently and have a mix of technology it was tried also you must have heard long wall technology we imported equipment from russia basically from very many places including russia china no somebody every time people give me example of cell phones we cell phones are required in millions <laughs> long wall required in two pieces Absolutely. who is going to build here i heard him 21 times calling you must put up a shop here shop will be put up only here by those who can sustain the order book agree nobody else put us out agree now with the two long wall faces who will come to you with seven dumpers who will come to you see you in need china to build quantum so you see in china 90% of because their reserves are very deep 90% of coal of 4 billion tons china yes, is mining yes, yes, yes. comes from underground 90% very difficult conditions and uh, don't get upset with the figures they are killing almost 100000 people every year in the mines exactly oh, no what we should do now and in fact it's already very it has been penetrated down the line that deep mines i have myself suggested you form now new mdo you must have seen coordinator quotations attenders they are inviting mdos 
for underground mining, mechanized mining, on production sharing basis, profit sharing basis, this basis, that basis. Now what is happening today? Boys like you, young people like you, if you have two choices, go to Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad or go to IIT, Kharagpur. You will go. You Kharagpur. know, if you are lost, you will lose Indian School of Mines and try to get a job in BPO. Is right. <laughs> Here's the point. Last question, gentlemen, right but at I the top. I didn't want to hear anybody's. Uh, yeah, but but that's the truth. I left IIT Kharagpur and joined Indian School of Mines. Right. Yes, gentlemen over there, kindly introduce yourself also. Hi, I am Balwinder Singh from Centrum Capital and. Uh, Centrum, ca Centrum Capital. I am Balwinder Singh from Centrum Capital. Balwinder uh, Singh, okay. Central Capital. Now you can stand up, no problem. Now you can come a little My question is very general. Uh, like, uh, I just want to know that uh, there is a problem in funding, in bank financing to uh, power sectors and, uh, you know, uh, other sectors also. Banks are, are very reluctant or very specific in funding these days. But don't you think that uh, the poor governance uh, of the central government and corruption is the main reason behind this? Because, you know, uh, uh, we come across number of cases of uh, corporate financing so and debt restructuring. This. Of debt restructuring and corporate financing. <laughs> of debt restructuring and corporate financing of hydro projects and uh, solar projects also. And uh, in the, uh, in the uh, past cases, we have seen that uh, gov government have, uh, you know, uh, Given the uh, uh, have hired many companies to uh, you know build uh, this uh, power project uh, thermal projects and uh, they they also uh, you know uh, ensure them that if they will provide the coals to them the coal uh, uh, coal to them but when they uh, they have taken the loan from the bank and after the this uh, all thermal projects have been set up the government was failed to you know government failed to uh, provide them coal and due to which they got NPAs. And uh, you know, after that, uh, there is one solar company which uh, you know uh, they uh, they are just uh, you know uh, going for second CDR. This is uh, because you know uh, the uh, you the you need to actually keep the question a little brief, you know, because rest of it I can answer you somewhere. Yeah, I just want to uh, like the solar company which is uh, making the silicon uh, panels for the solar projects and all that. PV panels basically. Yeah. And uh, you know they are going for CDR. The reason is because the their uh, selling price is less than their cost price, or uh, is less than the cost price because the uh, China is uh, uh, making the same panel very 30 percent less cost. And you know the government, the there is one anti-dumping uh, policy which is awaited from government, but it is not uh, you know uh, applied till date. So because of which the companies who are making the solar panels are going to CDR or NPAs. So, don't you think that uh, the main reason behind this, uh, that the bank are reluctant or very specific in funding is a poor governance or corruption? Okay, I will answer you this. The same set of bankers, including, I would say, private investors, are going to a corrupt country like Sri Lanka, where you have to pay off Mr. Rajapakshe, roughly 30%, and everybody is happy there. The same way, a crooked government of Thailand, which is under crisis now, where the minimum corruption index is 28%, is being funded by everybody and huge amount of uh, exhibitions, conferences happen and all world market reaches there, hmm. right? Including a professor here has gone and interviewed them before this crisis, okay? So, there is no one who says But when it comes to the case of India, every Tom, Dick and Harry jumps up and talks about only policy and corruption as an issue. I am not saying that policy paralysis does not exist. Like for example, killing of our solar PV panels which we have represented across REPA is because of that lack of applying the anti-dumping duty which has also killed the thermal which I have exposed to you in front of you. Yes, yes. So that is a simple policy paralysis. Mm. But I will tell you about Indian manufacturers. I can name one guy, Vikram Solar. This company must be, his CEOs must be arrested because they bring the panels from China, put the tappa in their factory, take it out and sell. And they are in, Chai, in Gujarat also, they have supplied. So how will you stop such manufacturers? They are in the eastern region. They will go back to Bhutan also tomorrow if I open up Bhutan. Yeah, uh, that is why I am saying uh, no, no, see, this, uh, this is, is policy paralysis. Anti-dumping is very much required on China because, so, you know, so th therefore, that is, uh, we are not promoting our own manufacturers. So anyway, we let me complete. Let, let me complete. This question can go on. But just giving this bogey of corruption and not investing, I tell you, people don't want to work. No, banks Including are foreign operators in this country, they are being lazy on India and they only continue to compare us with China in every issue without realizing that you are working with a democracy which has long term benefits for you. Stability will come. Governments may change. 
2014 you may have even a khichri government which may fall in two years worst case scenario but let me tell you they cannot avoid any infrastructure or major investment if they want to survive they have to do that today's condition is that the politics has changed towards economic dimension so let us not underestimate let us also see this is both side yeah that it is both side it is very easy that these young MBAs and people take engineering, then they take MBA. I am coming back to what Sajdev Saab said. So they have very little exposure. Inko kya hai ki badi badi salaries chahiye, ghumna achhi jagah pe, char five star hotel pe khana pina hai, kam nahi karna hai. Kitre hydro engineer jayenge hydro set pe kam karne ke liye. So bankers mein bhi isi tarah ke log aa gaye. Aata jata kuch nahi hai. Report karne ke KP JMG mein mere saath aate hain, bolte hain ham knowledge partner banenge. Main kyu banao? Udo mera seminar attend karo. Crystal mera seminar attend karo. Knowledge partner, we will give you more knowledge than you. This was one of the bankers who negotiated with me to put his logo here. I said nothing doing because I did not want to sell my soul. I, he said I want knowledge partner. I said nothing doing. What knowledge you will give me? I said take any other partnership. So they, then they said okay, how much you will charge me? I said okay, whatever you can give me, you give me. Then they escaped. So understand these issues. Yeah, but this I'm is a private bank. My, uh, but the, I'm uh, I'm talking about the PSU's banks who are already funding. No, no, PSU banks ka bura hal hai yar. Aapko bande mein former that. former central bank chairman Tangsale, he came directly. I'm naming the guy. He was one of the biggest bankers in the country. He came to me. Ayer sir, can you help me? He understood my law idea. He said, "Hamara Maheshwar Idol ka project ruka hua hai. Aap isme hamara non-performing asset ho gaya hai. How you can help? I gave him a state policy. You meet." The Kasliwals meet and I meet. Let me see how much agreement and will is there in both of you to come together to find a solution. Then I said, I will personally go get a bailout. I had an international funder. I don't want to name them. They are ready to bail you out also and take the project over. Neither Mr. Tangsale came forward nor bloody the Kasliwals came forward. So please... I think time is over. Okay. We can continue our question. I have a lot of answers. Thank you. And thank everybody for today's time. I think we'll come out with the white paper. And please interact with us on this issue. You can send any inputs to us. Thank you. And see you again in our next seminar. <laughs>